Hi Pretty Polishers, today I'm sharing with you guys my flamingo nails. Don't these beautiful pink birds give you a sense of tropical weather and summertime? They do for me, so I decided to create my own flamingo nails. So to create your flamingo nails, you're going to need a bright pink, light pink, and a mint colored polish. I used all nail polish from Zoya, I'll link the names down below. You're also going to need a nail art brush and a dotting tool. Mine are from the Winstonia Glam Gadget set and I'll also link that. You're going to need some Chevron nail vinyls, I got mine from nailvinyls.com. And you're going to need tweezers to help take off the chevrons once you're done. You're also going to need your typical base coat and top coat. Start off by applying two coats of your mint polish to your middle and ring fingers. Then apply two coats of your bright pink to your pinky. Apply two coats of your light pink to your pointer finger. Next, you're going to apply fast drying top coat to all of your nails and let it dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now you're going to start creating the flamingo's body. Take your nail art brush and your bright pink and you're going to draw an almond shape to create the body of the flamingo. Make sure you fill the almond shape completely in. To create the flamingo's head, you're going to pretend like you're drawing the number two and you're going to stop at the left end of the flamingo's body. I added a second coat to the flamingo's body just to make his body look very opaque. To create the flamingo's legs, you're going to draw one straight line down and then to make it seem like the flamingo is standing just on one leg, you're going to create a half triangle. Start at the root and just make sure that the bottom line crosses over the first line that you made. I used the same light pink to create a little bit of feather detailing on the body. Then to create the flamingo head, I just did kind of almond shape at the end of the number two. To create your chevron accent nail, you're going to use your chevron vinyls to make it easier. Then you're going to take your bright pink and your light pink polish and you're going to interchange the colors applying them in the empty spaces in between the vinyls. While your polish is still wet, you're going to remove the vinyls using your tweezers. It's just easier that way. You could do it with your fingers, but with your tweezers, you get nice crisp lines. Next is cleanup. I used a brush dipped in 100% acetone to clean around my nail. For your polka dot nail, you're going to use your dotting tool dipped in your mint polish. Next I wanted to add some feather details to my flamingo and I just took my nail art brush dipped in white polish and I also used bright pink and just kind of brush stroked it on the flamingo's body. Don't worry about this being perfect because it will all come together at the end. Last, when everything is pretty much dry, add your final top coat to all of your nails and your flamingo nails are done.
so this is the final look and I really love the way these turned out. They are perfect for summer and very tropical. I also noticed once I was done with these that they have a very Lily Pulitzer type of feel to them. I love this brand from the US. They have gorgeous pink and mint colors combined and I also found this adorable flamingo dress so it was meant to be. Hope you guys enjoyed these flamingo nails. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know what is your favorite nail art for summertime. Follow me on social media. I am on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Or you can visit my blog where I post daily, nailpolishpursuit.com. Thank you so much for watching. A big welcome to all of my new subscribers and don't forget to stay strong in your pursuit.